Hello, welcome out to Chatter With You Matter. This is our second mental health podcast uh, for the year. And uh, we are once again here at Chico State. Uh, and before we get started, I want to remind everyone that we are on all social medias. You Matter Chico. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube as well. Uh, these podcasts will be appearing on SoundCloud as well as our main source, but we'll probably be on our YouTube channel as well. So go check any of those out. Give us a like. Give us a follow. Tweet at us. We got some surveys up right now about uh, some potential topics that you might want to see. So be sure to look on that and maybe we'll get to one that you suggest. And um, before I get started, I just want to give a big shout out to the Counseling Center here on campus. They are located in the Student Service Centers on the 4th floor uh their hours are monday through friday from 8 a.m to 5 p.m uh and we do have uh same day appointments where you'll have to call at 8 a.m or uh we do have crisis hours as well for anyone who may be going to crisis and we do have scheduled appointments as well uh obviously they are all amazing staff they are here for all the students here and they want to see us succeed and this school cannot function without their support. So I just want to give a quick shout out to them. And uh, they are open at any time for contact if you have any more questions. And we do put a lot of info about it on our social media. So it's out there. Um, so I'm excited. This is our second one uh, for Chatter With You Matter on our mental health podcast. And our topic today is just kind of going to be what it means to be new. To be like the new kid in town or the new student at a school. Whatever it may be. Uh, my name is Brandon Cross, and I am joined here today by my co-host. Hi, I'm Beth, Bethany Prezant. I play a couple different roles here on campus. I am also a U Matter intern, brand spanking new, to fit along with the theme today. I also am the vice president of our women's water polo club here on Ch- Chico State's campus, and I'm also newly <laughs> there it is again the marketing and fundraising chair for our students of communication studies club so i have a little bit of experience this semester doing with a whole bunch of stuff doing a whole bunch of stuff yes. newly doing a whole bunch of stuff yeah, perfect so we can just like, go right into it with everything so um with this being your first semester uh semester with you matter kind of combined words there <laughs> Uh, what, what was, like, your initial thoughts about, like, joining it originally and kind of, like, that first day? That first day, I really liked how it was set up, honestly. So, when we had our orientation, Jimmy and I, Jimmy, the other new intern, we were able to come in a couple hours earlier than the more established... The well returning known. interns. Right, yeah. right. And so, that was pretty nice because we kind of we're able to kind of get comfortable sitting in the room that we usually meet in and kind of, you know, getting that more mm, one-on-one time with our coordinators and our, you know. Mm -hmm. And so that was really comforting to kind of be able to, like, get comfortable in that environment before meeting the rest of the team. And, I mean, we did a couple of those icebreaker activities, and that was super helpful because everyone was super nice and open. Mm -hmm. So that was was pretty nice. Mm -hmm. But was it, like, overwhelming at first? Like, before, you know, the orientation, like, took place, like, kind of, like, the night before leading up to it? The night before, I wasn't too worried, but I do, I do gotta say, when everyone started trickling in one by one, that was a little nerve-wracking, because although Jess, our, you know, our program supervisor, and Alexa and Allie, who are you matter staff although they knew who jimmy and i were and even though alexa and jess were the ones who actually interviewed me and gave me this position watching the returning interns walk in one by one was a little nerve-wracking because i'm sitting there and i'm very aware that none of you guys knew who i was and we're we're all like walking in Mm -hmm. and just saying hi to each other Mm -hmm. because we just got back from break and it was like good to see everyone exactly it's it's cool how tightly bonded the interns are yeah. but coming into that that can be really scary because you guys are not only interns together but you guys are friends yeah. so breaking into that friend group yeah and i think one of the big things when it comes to like being new to any type of organization at least what i experienced was like there's such like an intimidation factor because mm-hmm. you come in you don't really know like how the organization is really like fixed how they run things and how they operate so it To me, it can be, like, really, like, you want to do stuff, but you're not quite sure how to approach it and how, you like, you want to do it or bring it up. I feel like you are kind of seen as, like, a very small fish in a big pond, I guess, Mm -hmm. is a way that, like, I can guess I could describe it. But, and it just, like, takes some time because when I first started, I would never have imagined 
a couple semesters later when I felt like more established within the organization that I'm here like doing a mental health podcast consistently for it. So it, it can be very overwhelming when you first step in. Yeah, totally. And relating it back to my communications degree, you know, every organization has that set of social norms. Mm -hmm. And so exactly what you just said, coming in to something new, you don't know how to kind of act or what's kind of okay, I guess, and what's kind of not within that organization. Mm -hmm. And so what are we now, like three weeks in, and I still get kind of nervous going to meetings because I don't know if what I want to say is kind of appropriate for that situation mm -hmm. or if people are going to respond how I want them to respond to things that I say. So it's, it's kind of intimidating. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't just relay to like just being in an organization. It could be as simply as any freshmen that are entering college for the first time. Whether it be you're living in the dorms or if you're a commuter student, I think it can all just be probably one of the most difficult things in, within your early adult life. Totally. And for me personally, I came in as a first gen college student, so I didn't even really have that support. I mean, I had support from my parents, but they couldn't tell me what to expect or kind of, you know, maybe what to do and not do my freshman year. Mm -hmm. And so I feel as though that's also kind of mm, what's the right word for this not an obstacle so not right but that's just another kind of challenge it's another kind of hurdle of coming into a university completely blind yeah is if that makes sense yeah so different with me i'm not a first gen <laughs> uh my mom my grandmother went to college i'm the youngest of three siblings so i gotta see my sisters go off to college uh way before i did and they graduated my after my second year of college so just like the level of difference between the two of us can just be completely just on opposite worlds of a reaction uh how is it like for you you know being a first gen for anyone else out there who might also be a first gen like what are some of like the struggles that maybe someone like me who has seen it kind of played out a little bit before me how, how would you think any of those different maybe mm -hmm. i mean I can't assume to know mm -hmm. how, you know, you felt about being new. I, I guess just from my per perception, I assume we maybe had stress over the same things, but I feel as though I didn't really get the guidance that maybe just from people with experience that they have and can mm -hmm. say, oh, when, well, when I filled out this application or when I went to tour, I didn't have that at all. And so... I, you know, trying to figure out FAFSA, what the heck is FAFSA, first of yeah. all, you know, and so trying to fill out these forms, you know, every different school has a bunch of different requirements they want from you. Some want SAT scores, some don't care, yeah. some they're due before April, some are due until July, yeah. and so... And I think it's different, too, depending mm -hmm. if you're in-state or out-of-state. Totally, yeah, that's a, that's a whole different one. So, I'm, I'm in-state, and so that was easier for me kind of with the Cal State system because mm -hmm. I'm a resident but um you know just having to navigate all the forms trying to navigate what I needed versus what I could do without I guess I mean I came up for orientation without my parents they didn't come with me and so I came up with my best friend from high school and so it was really kind of I was responsible. It really threw me in that role of if you want to get this done or if you want this, it's going to be on you. Mm -hmm. Just kind of thrown to the wolves. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and thank you for like talking about that. And it's just like I think when it comes to new, uh, especially like at college, I don't know for you, but for me, like the level of anxiety that comes with it is just unlike anything else that you experience at all within your lifetime to that point and it can just be overwhelming uh i remember just like moving into the dorms i had i think maybe four people from my graduating high school class uh to also come up here our freshman year and it is just terrifying you know you go from a place where you've known all these people you've known your friends you've known your neighbors you've known your community for like the last 10 plus years and then all of a sudden you're thrown into a place where you might not know a single person and i think like the whole world just feels so big and you feel so insignificant and small and it can like really beat you down at times totally i really appreciated the fact that you brought up living in the dorms and mm. that topic because when i came in i actually went straight into a house okay and I was lucky enough to move in with my best friend from high school who came up with me 
um, to go to orientation, and her older sister was in that house as well. But that old added a whole new level of the not meeting people and not. Yeah, because with the dorms, mm-hmm. you know, I'm mm-hmm. living with thirty other people on just mm-hmm. my floor alone, and I can literally, if I'm bored, just go knock on my friend's like doorway just down the hall. Whereas you, we're we're all spread out completely. Yeah. How was that though? Um, meeting people in the dorms was that easy? Was that hard? I have no idea. So. I. It it can be, but it also can't be at the same time. At the beginning, the dorm halls do their best to try and put on events uh, within the dorm community or just with the housing community in general. I know, like, uh, we have, like, productions here that put on, like, movie nights for all, like, the dorm residents, and then they'll put on, like, uh, they'll be handing out food. They'll have, like, you know, media, like, outlets and everything, like, television. Like, if there's, like, The Bachelorette is on, they'll have, like, a whole... <laughs> get together there so the dorms do their best uh i hope with other colleges they do this too i don't see why they wouldn't but they do their best to try and like foster a sense of community with them which i think can be like the most important thing but like it's really hard because after your family your parents leave after like you're done moving in you're kind of just like left there standing in your room and you just you do not know what to do there's all these other people who are like in the hallways talking with like their parents and everything and i i think it like it took me a while to really felt like i was like established because i don't think making friends is as easy as everyone might like play it out to be but it can just be very uh lonely at times and it doesn't help when like you have anxiety or any of that stuff there's a lot of self-doubt within yourself uh you feel like worthless that you can't like make friends that you can't like make those connections and it kind of can just like roll on and affect like your academic Mm -hmm. and your college careers and like it just kind of builds up over time yeah spiral yeah exactly down a spiral yeah Mm -hmm. i always think of whenever i talk about the dorms with people i always think of i watch this buzzfeed video Mm -hmm. and it's titled something along the lines of like freshman thoughts but like the reality of freshman Mm -hmm. thoughts and so one of the scenes is this guy popping in like hey do you want to be friends but only until we move out and like get our own houses and don't talk ever again and so it's kind of it's interesting to watch how well it's interesting to watch the effort I guess that the dorms put into having these freshmen bond Mm -hmm. but kind of yeah the, the proximity necessity. the proximity helps mm-hmm. yeah when you're all you know 10 mm-hmm. feet living of mm-hmm. each other so it, it can be easier to try and like build that friendship but exactly as you said like you know when after that semester and we all move out i can't count how many people from the dorms i do not talk to now just because we're not living right next to each other mm-hmm. anymore it, it, it's a whole <laughs> bunch of things uh going on but um you said you were on the water polo I am on the team, water polo team. And you were a lead captain? Mm-hmm. Vice president. Vice yeah. president. Okay. So a little different perspective that you are like the, not the mm-hmm. newbie. So like, what do you notice for, you know, anyone who is an incoming new person to the organization, or the team? Like what, what is something you notice about them? About them? So this year's a little hard for me just because I had a whirlwind of personal stuff come up over Christmas break. And so I really haven't been able to bond as much as I would like with the new girls on the team. Mm-hmm. Um, I just, I missed our challenge week and I can only go to two practices out of our four weeks, so it's difficult, but something I've really noticed about our incoming members, it's it's great to watch this happen, but it's almost as if the older girls feel left out because the new people come in and they have that bond and they're all new together. And so they're super tight, which is mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. It's so great. Yeah, it's like the being in the same boat of just totally. being like we're all new. We don't mm-hmm. know anyone. So we're instantly just going to attach ourselves to yeah, each Yeah, totally. And so these girls have this incredible bond, which is awesome to watch. And that's mm-hmm. what we want mm-hmm. to come out of our club team. Mm-hmm. But it's almost funny because for some reason even though we're the older girls roles are kind of flipped we're kind of the weird ones out i guess which is funny but Mm -hmm. (laughs) hey i want to but i and um and and that like brings up good like because it's not just like going away to a college or being new to organization or being new to a job but like potentially too for anyone who's like on sports teams too i remember uh being a baseball player and being in my little league for 
pretty much forever until eventually you know you grow out of it mm -hmm. and then like all of a sudden i'm in a completely new league with just new coaches new teammates and like it really took more of like a mental effect on like my season than i had realized that it would and it's just like kind of being in that new environment can really be stressful and it can cause like a lot of stress to yourself mm -hmm. and it can like affect the way you perform totally and i would argue that being new in a situation where you have to show your skills is one of the hardest because yeah. i mean if you change schools and you're getting bad grades that's so that's not good but people aren't checking your grades kind of people yeah. aren't seeing what you're getting on that test but you know you're trying out for the baseball team or the water polo team and people are watching your skills and they're kind of watching <laughs> i don't want to say judging but like it's but they kind of aren't the, same. <laughs> yeah. the, the worst is when like you do like a good play and then the coaches just don't have any reaction mm -hmm. to it and <laughs> don't say a single yeah. thing can be the worst yeah. but um it and but when you do go to a new place like it also gives you an opportunity to start new to have like a clean slate like you said transferring schools when you have a bad grade no one at this new school knows that you know you might have been struggling with your grades it gives you a chance mm -hmm. to really kind of potentially reinvent yourself essentially mm -hmm. so i mean new ca being new can be a good thing yeah it, I, I guess it's just all about your mentality mm -hmm. surrounding it if you're gonna be negative about it saying like oh you know i had to move places this sucks all my friends are at my old school i think you might be really setting yourself up to have a bad experience whereas if maybe you have like that positive mentality of starting fresh getting a chance to be new again can potentially help like your new experience in ways that you couldn't even imagine i totally agree with that i do also think that whether changing situations being new turns out to be good or bad i think there is always that bit of anxiety that is attached to just walking into oh, an unknown without a doubt space you know yeah um but. so <laughs> when, when it comes also when it comes i know i keep saying when it comes to being new but yeah. that's the topic yeah. for <laughs> today so it is but um uh, just a, like a little fun story um one of my best friends from back home, he uh, moved to where I lived uh, when we were in fifth grade, it was. And, um, I, you know, when it, when it came to, like, recess, I would go out and do stuff. But sometimes, you know, I was kind of that nerdy kid who would, like, study for, like, the exam or the test, I guess, that I had, like, after uh, the recess. Like, if there was, like, a science one i would be that kid kind of like studying and reviewing for that during my breaks and um uh, my friend at that time um he was new to the school and he actually had joined me in studying for like the science exam coming up and i never thought anything about it i just like figured like oh you know you know he wants to be a good student too he wants to study for it and then we did that and um it wasn't until years years later where him and I were talking about it and then he told me he was like yeah I only did that because I didn't know anyone else so I didn't know Aww. what to do <laughs> and I was just like I was so sad but also like very happy because we have been best friends ever since that event since fifth grade we still are to this day I absolutely love him to death and it just kind of shows that sometimes the smallest act for the people who aren't new can mean the world to those who are new and you don't realize how much of an effect that could have on someone totally totally i you know i always think it's important to focus well at least my philosophy out of every situation there can be a lesson learned you mm -hmm. know whether it's good or bad and so i was just reflecting on a friend of mine when you were talking about yours and he moved away for high school and it was that move um to orange county actually that really promoted his sexuality he came out as gay and he started mm -hmm. doing drag and it was a really really open positive experience for him that chance to start anew right exactly exactly and then i when i was in high school actually i had to move high schools for like the last month of my freshman year which is why yeah <laughs> why do that <laughs> to have all that so just move exactly. <laughs> that close exactly and so i was new 
and this literally sounds like a movie. I would, like, eat lunch in the bathroom because mm -hmm. I didn't know where to sit or anything, and kind of the popular kids took me in.